Hi everybody, this is Sansan Maji, and before we get started, if you guys want to know what music is playing, it is Dire Dire Docks from Super Mario 64, uh, but it's a cover, and it's, you can find it on YouTube, and it's by someone named Michelle Heffy? It's like heavy, but with an F. Anyways, this is a pick a card reading called Do They Have Romantic Feelings? So I do want to say whether or not you've met this person all right, uh, whether or not you've met this person at this time um, does not truly matter because time is non-linear. So the reason I say that is not to discourage any of you who have someone in mind, but to encourage those of you who maybe feel like there's nobody who has feelings for you in that sort of way. This is kind of like a, well, maybe someone does, but you just haven't met them yet. So this is kind of like a win-win. So however the reading applies to you, please take it. Um, whatever your situation is, whatever messages do resonate with you, um, you know, reson by resonate that means like feels good with you and sits right with you, the message, then of course take it. Um, and so, <laughs> The, the magical but simple blessing to taking messages that resonate is that they're meant to feel good and feel right and literally resonate with your soul. When something resonates with your soul, it feels right, which feels very satisfying. So you should be able to tell if messages are resonating or not. Um, sometimes messages will resonate, but it will still bring up heavy and painful or difficult emotions. That's sometimes because something you desire so greatly um, or you feel you lack. Sometimes when you're being told that you don't actually lack it or that it's actually going to happen for you can seem too good to be true that will bring up heavy emotions. Um, so I just want to throw that all out there for some reason because I feel like that might apply to somebody listening out there. If it doesn't, no worries. Um, we are going to see how this goes, but we're going to have between readings three and five. Check the timestamps below to see how many readings I end up doing. But if I am doing five readings, here are the crystals for the five readings. Right here, we've got Rose Quartz as reading number one. Reading number two is Orange Calcite. Reading number three, I believe this is called Cheroite, C-H-A-R-O-I-T-E. Reading number four, if we end up doing a fourth reading, is Shiva Lingan, Lingan, something like that. And reading number five is Fluorite. So you can take a moment and pause here if you need a moment. But once you have chosen your reading, head to the timestamp that's in the description box below. Hold on a second. And I will see you all over there for your messages. And for any of you who are hanging out with me in this moment, thank you for hanging out with me and for supporting the channel. If you're new here, I go by Sun Sun Mashi, but my name is Sun Wen. So if you prefer to say, to, to go by, to call me just like by my name, you are welcome to. If you're comfortable with Sun Sun Mashi, I also am comfortable with Sun Sun Mashi. <laughs> yeah. Um, lately, if you guys are wondering what I'm doing, I've been putting salt, sea salt, in my water because it's supposed to, salt is supposed to help you absorb water better, basically. Your cells can actually absorb the water and I think other nutrients or something. Um, so if you guys are curious, I'm not like sponsoring Though people are reaching out to me lately about that, so that might start happening soon. But I'm not currently, I just get things. <laughs> and one of them I got is this, which is Ava Jane's Kitchen Kalima Sea Salt. I was skeptical, but I, like I read everything. And after I read everything on the website about it and all these cool facts and details, I was still skeptical. Then I got it and tasted it. And then I started tasting it with tangerines. And like the explosion of flavors was just like something out of this world. I've never tried it, anything like it before. <laughs> and so after that, I started doing more research on the website and looked at the actual lab report. Because the, the cool thing about it is that there are zero microplastics in here. And apparently, like statistically, over 90% of like 
store brand salts and sea salts and things that you buy um, contain like a bunch of micro or have trace amounts of microplastics in them. And then they also go into details of exactly what that means on a health basis and things like that. And then with the salt that they have, they have test results that you can look at online that show that there's no microplastics in them, nothing and like of that sort. And then also a list of the minerals it contains and what makes their um, salt different than other salts in terms of its uh, like chemical makeup. And then they also talk about what each different mineral like does in terms of functions in the body. And like that's all listed on the lab report that they like can guide you to if you go onto the main website. So it's pretty impressive. And I was like, wow. And I didn't even look at those lab report thingies until after I already got the salt. So that's enough of that. <laughs> Anyways, other than that, um, just the usual, if anyone wants to get a private reading with me and if any of my stuff is, is, or I don't know if it's working exactly. I have like this website, not really sure. So if any of you are having any problems or issues booking a reading, or if you need adjustment with the scale to afford a reading from me, um, please email me. I'm more than happy to do a reading, especially at this time. Also, it is March 19th. We are right at spring, everybody. I've been waiting so long for spring. About three months. <laughs> Winter, right? Um, but yeah, I'm excited for it. Mercury retrograde. This Mercury retrograde season was heavy. We're in the shadow period now, which is way lighter, you know? It's like still the reflective energy, still having time to think and reflect like the shadow period promises us and just like with what Mercury retrograde was all about. But now things are actually getting to move forward so we can see real progress during a reflective period. So this is pretty nice, you know, this whole shadow period, post shadow period to the, the Mercury retrograde. Um, but anyways, yeah, that's all I've got there. Um, also, let me know if you guys are interested in a like health journey. I'm thinking of doing like a vlog series where I go day by day about my health journey. I've been doing handstands. So today was my fourth day of handstands. I've been recording them, um, but for myself and kind of like private video style. But if any of you would be inspired by my health journey to start or plan certain things on your health journey, I'd be more than happy to start uploading my vlogs publicly, um, those specific ones, the health journey, which is focusing on me doing handstands, talking about doing um, my, it's Biore is the brand, doing this facial cleanse every day in a row, um, as well as officially writing in calendars for like the first time ever in my life. I've written in this calendar eight days in a row, so I'm pretty proud of myself. So yeah, here's day one right there, yeah. And then after that, day two, woo, I tore this one out by accident, but day two, I've been wanting to keep them in here, but I guess that's a sign for me to start taking them out soon. But anyways, the 18th even, I wrote on it, and you'll see all my goals on there. It's like, Biore day eight is somewhere on there, um, right there. Yeah. So I've been doing this facial cleanse every day, handstands. I managed to do all of these things. The only thing I haven't done is written day nine's calendar. I finally thought to do that because in all the previous days I didn't. And then during the day of it, I'm like, okay, what should I write on here? <laughs> Sometimes I wrote it the day before, but now I'm like putting it in there. So then tomorrow when I do it, I'm going to write, write day 10 before like, or something on, t you know, write day 10's calendar and I'll keep doing that. Um, so then, yeah. And then maybe someday I'll be like, write day 20 through 26 or something. So I write set a whole week ahead of time or something like that. But yeah, that's just me sharing some random updates. All right, so for those of you who chose reading number one, we are using the timestamp 949. Um, any of you who just like listened to all of that, thank you for listening. 
I just hang out. You guys know. Um, but anyways, once again, I hope you guys find the term stamp. You know what I'm trying to say. So, what are their romantic feelings? Or do they have romantic feelings? There we go. So, we're going to pull a card from this deck. Which is going to be a pretty positive omen. This isn't a message necessarily from your person or the answer to this question. This is just... What is the good omen behind your situation? Something for you, the listener, to kind of pick up on like, hmm, this sounds like my situation. I wish I had told you how much you really meant to me. Ooh, wow. So that's a pretty heavy hitter. <laughs> so we're going to start with that. I wish I had told you how much you really meant to me. So things were left unsaid between you and this connection. So for those of you who are like, woo, getting goosebumps, or you're feeling the energy that is, this is resonating with right here, right now, this time, this moment in time on the precipice or the cusp um, of Pisces season going into Aries season, right? Hope that sentence made sense. Like it's the whole former and latter between precipice and um and cusp former and latter with um pisces season going into aries season aries season is the whole cusp but we're on the precipice of pisces season it doesn't matter but <laughs> sorry i just nerd out sometimes hope you guys don't mind also just for you guys to be sure this is the rose quartz i do have the order in front of me so I, I shouldn't mess that up by accident but sometimes I do that where I'm like okay reading number one <laughs> and it's like totally what reading four is or something I just do that sometimes my friend Lauren if you're watching this Lauren I feel like you would have you maybe pick picked reading one oh, I should have said this at the beginning of the video but you guys can pick multiple messages do whatever you want to do no rules here but I, I forgot to mention that but anyways, uh, my friend Lauren does that too sometimes where she'll put out like, okay, this reading, this reading, this reading. And then the timestamp, it's going to be, it's like out of order. But it's like, it's, it's the order it's meant to be in, you know? It's just, yes, the messages. I don't know. Funny enough, I'm talking about all that because it's like signs, right? Um, often on her channel, she has like, you pick based off of like a spirit animal. And I just take it as a sign if it goes in a certain order because then it matches with the number that was whispering in my head. Sometimes I'll get the animal, but like that'll sound like it's reading three, but I was like, but I was feeling reading two. But then I'll check her description and it's like that animal was actually a reading two because she did it out of order, making it the right reading, you know? So signs, and I was shuffling this deck without even reading it, but this is the signs from Spirit Love Oracle. Wow, and speaking of signs, and then on the back we have 777. I just checked the clock to see if there's a seven in it. It's 242, which... Basically, you can see that as like 42 going outwards from the middle, right? And six times seven is 42. And so I am feeling all the seven vibes in there. Yeah. Even the fact that it's March 19th and the twos can go into the 19 twice, making it 21, 21, which is seven times three. So there's just lots of sevens showing up. That is, literally 21 is seven, 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 14, 21. So. And 42 is 21 doubled. <laughs> so anyways, on this card, it says rapid soul development that comes from challenging times. So that is saying like these things left unsaid between the two of you or, you know, or between from one of you, maybe you opened up your heart. The other person didn't. Maybe the other person opened up their heart. You didn't. Maybe both of you have some unspoken things um, between one another. Um, yeah. Anyways, whatever that situation is, that is what I'm getting is the challenging times. And this is saying like that has brought you rapid soul development. So maybe there was that, that was a very specific reason for why separation had to happen. Some of you think to yourself, maybe I do it anyways, but some of you might be thinking like, what is this separation for? Like, why did I meet someone where I feel so much true love with? Wow. And on the back, I'm seeing this over here. Your beauty still moves me. But anyways, um, some of you might be thinking like, 
you know, if this love is so real, why are we being pulled apart or separated? And I'm getting it's for your rapid soul development. It's so then you can um, be even more ready for that kind of energy um, when the time is right, basically. It's like the only issue with the energy being so amazing is that you don't have the physical vessel to maintain it. Think about it. Every time you get your heart broken is actually your heart gaining and growing in size because that was a whole other person or yeah, or situation or thing or animal that you chose to love and open your heart to. So then when you felt you lost it and felt that ache, you're feeling a missing spot. But the reason why it feels like that is because your heart grew and you felt something came out of it, the loss, but your heart did in fact grow. The reason why it's painful is because now you have to go through those growing pains and when you are fitting that vessel, suddenly you feel full again and you gain that that soul development. So it may sound messed up, but the more you open your heart, it will hurt to do so sometimes when it when you do that and it feels painful, right? Because you're literally expanding. If your muscles haven't grown in that way if you've you know posture then stretching is going to be more painful because it's going to be needing to open up those spaces that had never been opened before <laughs> i know that i'm kind of going pretty deep there but anyways i'm just getting like this person helped you open your heart or meeting this person became a big catalyst to you opening up your heart or going or opening up your soul to more development to more awareness to all of this stuff curiosity yeah curiosity when it comes to uh spirituality or signs and synchronicities or um divine uh messages or guidance you know from like spirit uh higher dimensions all sorts of those kinds of topics since meeting this person a lot of that has like suddenly like boom wide open showed up into your world this whole world of like wow, like, I'm not crazy. Like, there's a lot of, like, magic to all of this life stuff. <laughs> there's something psychic about this realm. <laughs> it's not just 3D practical. That was, like, kind of drilled into a lot of people. Conditioning, right? Um, so things have been very eye-opening. So anyways, I'm getting all of this is relevant because this is meant to give you confirmation that absolutely you're on the right path and this is getting you somewhere <laughs> and when you get to that place there's no doubt in spirit's mind that you will be with whatever it is in your life that makes you happy truly because you deserve happiness yeah Milk, nourishment, wow, that just matches with all of this vibe. So, saying like you're building something here, you are nourishing something here. This is a connection that's actually growing, whether or not it looks like that in the physical world. And that might be hard to believe, but, but it seems like this is the message coming through for reading number one. So, yeah. And I figured we'd get to the bottom of like what sort of things are transpiring for you before we get to like what is this person's feelings because at the end of the day, you are who matters for your journey, right? It's you going through your journey. So your outcome is not reliant on just this person alone or anything outside of yourself. It's all reliance on you, which might sound kind of intense, but... I really think it's a good thing. But anyways, um, so something that's going to come from all of this when it comes to this connection. <laughs> wow. We get transformative love. That's That kind of says it all, right? That's, that's a lot of what I'm talking about here. That the more you get your heart broken, the more your heart opens. Um, or the more, yeah, just the more you open up, the more, more your heart opens. And the more that does, the more you, you expand. And your wings can, like, you know, stretch out. Completely break free from that cocoon and transform. So some of you 
This is saying this situation is going to involve somebody really breaking out of their cocoon, transforming and opening up. A lot of you listening have the big feeling and knowing that it's the other person that needs to do this. I see that message. This is still very much for you as well. This is your reading. And I do think like sometimes we feel like it's just the other person who needs to go through the work to be ready for stuff. But at the same time, it's also ourselves that need to be ready for the transformation and for the love and stuff. We need to make that transformation happen inside of ourselves, not for specifically this person and this situation to work out, but literally for yourself, because you will be tired of being in a cocoon yourself. Mercury retrograde can be the uh, metaphor for this cocoon, right? <laughs> Spring, awakening, you know, I feel like a lot of us are tired of being in the same old energy and it has nothing to do with the outside world. I mean, it kind of does, but just, just the feeling inside of us. We, we want to become a completely new person basically, or have a completely new experience to the way life has been. Cause there's a lot of injustice. So a lot of changes need to be made. So a lot of us are kind of like treating ourselves in the way that we deserve that kind of support, just like without us having to lift a finger, so to speak. And most important, being honest with ourselves and being authentic to who we are and being honest in general. Um, whether or not, um, whether or not that's painful, sometimes it's more important to be honest, even if you want to sort of bend the truth or tell a white lie to be like polite or something in a situation. It's like, Sometimes it's very important you you maintain your uh, honesty instead of hiding things, basically. So that's a message for everybody. Slash message, really, for the people who needed to hear that. So like some of you, if you're like, I don't feel like I needed that message or something, you don't have to take it. No worries. All I meant by with like the for everybody, I mean like, it's not just for, it's not only, it's not going to every single time just be for the person that you're wondering what their feelings are. It's not always just going to be you, the listener. Sometimes it can be both. It could be for everybody. That's what I mean. Like, take it however that resonates with whoever needs to hear that message or whoever that message seems like it applies to the most. So let's just go ahead and get some cards on what are their do they have romantic feelings? I keep forgetting the question. Don't worry, guys. I got this. <laughs> I think we are just... No, we'll do five readings. Okay. Three of Cups, Celebration and Community. They Do they have romantic feelings? They definitely have pure love. And if you see romance as like almost like innocent, right? Where it's just like they really mean it that they want to like be with you on your journey. They want to know... Not necessarily anything and everything, but at the same time, yeah, that. But what I mean by yes and no is that, like, I mean they care about you in that sort of way. Does that mean they, like, it's going to be the dynamic where they do learn everything about you or they ask you everything or they listen to every single backstory? It's not necessarily that. And who I'm thinking of in my head is Luffy from One Piece. Luffy doesn't care your background. Luffy doesn't care what your story is. He just loves you unconditionally and cares about you. And anything you need, he, like, will be there for you. That's Luffy. <laughs> so that's what I'm trying to describe right now by, like, yes, they want to know everything about you, but also the kind of carefree person where they're, like, you don't, like, you don't have to explain yourself. And I also don't care about what all the past stuff is, unless if it's bothering you or if it's hurting you somehow, then I'll take it on. Like, boom, like that's who Luffy is. So anyways, this person feels that kind of way about you, which may sound intense. Five of Pentacles, isolated and alone. And so if you guys are in separation, this is a confirmation that this is about that person. And then for those of you, if, if you haven't met someone and you're here um, because you're just 
wondering, is there someone out there? This is very, that's another big synchronicity saying like, yeah, you haven't met this person yet. Yeah, you are separated from this person, but they are out there. Three of cups, truly. The, there's a sense of community, of kinship, right? Wolves, kinship, community. So definitely is what I'm getting here. One last card to, to seal the deal with this question. Eight, strength, pers uh, re restraint. Um, so yeah, strength is a card of the heart. It's a message saying like someone is showing real endurance when it comes to a situation where they feel like they're going through a difficult time. This is saying this person is going through a difficult time being uh, isolated and alone from you, away from you. As for why they don't reach out or why you haven't met this person yet, leave it down to divine timing, right? Transformative love. It's it's very much going to be connected to you on your journey and that cannot be rushed. We cannot force any door to open at a time, at any point in time. The door will just open when it's meant to open. So there is fate in that regard, those things we cannot control, but there's destiny, things that we work through on our own journey. And it's crazy that there's this butterfly here and on my computer screen there's a recommended video on the side saying the butterfly effect elevate your vibration dot 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 from the youtube channel meditative mind and here we've got this butterfly so that's what i have for reading number one i hope that answers the question thank you so much for listening and i will talk to you all in another reading video i'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on this video on this reading take care all right reading number two before we um, ask the question of, do they have romantic feelings? First, we're going to get a good omen about you, about your situation, just your energy. This is something to help you see if this reading resonates with you. It'll be something that when you hear it, you'll be like, oh yeah, that sounds like something I've been thinking about or something that sounds like that could be the other person's thoughts. Anything that feels like this sounds like the situation and it doesn't even have to do with your person here but it can just be your situation in life right now this is kind of that energy i feel too much pressure right now this is saying things have been very intense for you things have been very yeah high energy which makes sense i think it was i think it's jupiter mars and the moon that are all uh that all just aligned just like yesterday or something that energy makes for a lot of intensity passion, anger, um, Mars, right? And ignite something that drives you forward, something that like really grinds your gears where you're like, that's not right. Or like, that's not fair. Or like that needs to, someone needs to put a stop to that. <laughs> Situations like that, that have come up. This is kind of talking maybe about that for some of you, if you're listening at this time that the planets are aligned, aligned in that sort of way. Um, if you're listening at a way later time, it doesn't matter. This is a timeless message. So maybe things are just very intense for you. Maybe it's something else going on. Maybe it's Mercury retrograde at that time, you know, or something. Um, but yeah, right now in the world, there's a lot of intensity going on with all these situations. So if that all sounded like your kind of message, that's that's the signifier that reading two is for you. So you've just been feeling a lot of pressure very very intense let's get some messages for why you might be going through this situation we're getting flame eternity as a sign from spirit uh love oracle flame eternity that's very interesting so the reason you're feeling this might because might be because you're dealing with perhaps if any of you know that like term like a twin flame this is a twin flame deck so some of you might feel like you're dealing with that or the intensity of that kind of connection. Just some sort of intense, eternal uh, soul connection, you know? So that's the reason you might be feeling this intensity, which is already giving clear signal signals to me that, yes, this person, of course, has romantic feelings for you. I'm getting they do with that card flying right out and this feeling too much pressure right now. Oftentimes, with a lot of pressure and intensity, it's because that's how strong a connection is. So you are feeling a very strong connection. Now, in terms of 
how healthy the connection is or how, you know, pure it is, that will also have a lot to do with what kind of pressure you feel from the connection. What kind of pressure does it feel? Does it feel like, um, a type of pressure that makes you really want to get away from this person or does it make you want to go towards this person or are you going back and forth and you you're trying to figure that out right so that might be going on you can maybe go back and forth with how this pressure feels to you that maybe it's a good thing and then other times you're like no maybe this is a bad thing so the intensity sometimes is bringing you pain something like that where it's like this is not healthy this is bad it's toxic or not good not right but then another part of you is like, no, the only part that hurts about that is actually the past that has nothing to do with this connection. And yet it keeps tying in and making me think it's this connection that is that kind of negative intensity when really it's past situations that's truly the culprit in that regard. That's for helping some of you decipher between the energies. Others of you, it's not so much that, it's that something really bad did happen between you and this person like they really did do something really hurtful to betray your trust or um to just that hurt you in some sort of way or something that was just not okay no matter what their intentions were it was just something they did that was not okay like that too um for those of you that that's the situation i feel like you don't need help discerning that there's just some of you where it's like none of that happened and you're still trying to figure out is this good or is this bad and also that might all just resonate for any of you any which way. So I'm not even going to try to guess. But anyways, we also get dove peace. So that's telling me this is a good connection. For almost all of you listening, I'm getting the way this resonates is that this is a pure connection where you actually do have a lot of peace when it comes to how you feel about this person. And when it comes to how they feel about you, there's a sense of peace as well. Because with flame and eternity and that the whole situation in general for you is that you're feeling the pressure. That's saying you're feeling the energy and this is the energy. Eternity of love and peace. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> so let's get one more sign from Spirit about this connection. We get 999, quite a sign. Uh, profound lessons are at hand. Completion of a cycle is near. And I am feeling guided to draw these last cards over here. We are getting diamond, which says promise, and ladybug, which says luck. Wow. Something is saying that you are lucky when it comes to this connection. You are. That's what I'm getting. And then the back of the deck, hidden knowledge. So... There's something you know deep down within you, but you're not quite, sh there's no tangible proof in the physical world that that's actually the future or that that's actually what's about to happen or something. But there's a deep knowing inside of you that something is about to happen, that you're at luck, you're in luck here. There's a completion of a cycle and lucky you, there's some sort of promise, maybe engagement ring <laughs> for some of you in the future, maybe not right around the corner, but maybe the events that will lead you up to that down the road are coming up for you. Some sort of opportunity that will get you on the path or something like that. It's It can happen at any time. Meeting the one or coming together all of a sudden, suddenly feeling like you're ready and that the time is now. Like suddenly that door will just swing wide open and there won't be any, I mean, there will be questions of like joyful surprise and confusion. Maybe even fear because you might be like, this is too good to be true. How is this happening? I'm so confused. You know, the door will be swung wide open like that. There will be no question about it. No like creeping up to it. Just, it's just happening at some point. That's what I'm getting with all of these numbers and, and things, the 999. And then I say all these numbers. Well, it's 303. Three times three is nine. Earlier I was like, oh, it's 302. I don't, you know, three squared um, is nine as well. So yeah, that's what I mean by the synchronicities. And then it's March 19th, three, one, and then nine. I don't know. I'm just seeing a whole lot of stuff going on. One times three is three. Three times three is nine. So just 
the numbers. They're jumping out like crazy. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I'm getting here so far. So I think this has to do with your connection reading number two. Something about that. Or maybe it's like the ball is in your court, so to speak. And like you have no idea when you're going to reach out and suddenly make this proposal and like you have no idea if it's going to be at the right time or if it's at the wrong time or what but luck is on your side let's get a, like a message for you of advice on this wow we get proposition i'm like freaking out guys because like promise proposition i don't know those are connected realization that's like this is the door swinging wide open i am telling you it's just gonna happen reading number two when someone just like completely opens their heart and just they're like i'm giving this heart to you what do you say <laughs> and i feel like those of you listening reading number two you all have this feeling right where it's like you're gonna say yes some of you are feeling very intense and might be crying because some of you feel like that's never going to happen or like there's that part where you're like hearing this you know like it's bringing you to tears because you're like I can't believe it maybe it will there's that part of you that's creeping in but another part of you that's like very much emotional high emotions and crying and it's like no because that didn't happen before and this this and that and just like that whole like you know uncontrollable sobbing kind of energy some of you might be there some of you might have been there recently some of you might be there later some of you might have gotten triggered in this video. It it depends on the person, really. I have no idea. So your guys' feedback would help me. But I also don't need to know. Like, I'm just, yeah, I'm just, what I meant by that is, like, I don't actually know, basically, um, in which way this strikes its chord. Because even though I feel it and all the possibilities and that if I heard from someone or witnessed someone, I would feel it point is i feel you i see you even if i don't <laughs> that, if that all makes sense i hope it does um i accidentally put these away okay this says plenty of fish in the sea but i wasn't sure if i drew two or three cards but i definitely didn't draw that one so i'm leaving it in there so let's get the answer do they have romantic feelings so this is about the person on your mind some of you if there's no one on your mind if you haven't met someone um, or you're not sure if someone out there has feelings for you. This is the answer. Do they? We get Queen of Wands. Look at that flame. I'm mind blown. And we're also getting these cards too. So we get Queen of Wands, which says confident and magnetic. Yeah, you are magnetic. Like, yes, of course, this is your situation. This is the answer. Ace of Wands, breakthrough and awareness. The awareness that you are a goddess, that you are amazing, your body is a temple, you are a creator, you are you are your own lover. So of course you have a lover inside of you. And as cheesy as that sounds, it's like when you live up to that and you're like, I am my own lover, I obviously I deserve this, and I obviously would be nice with another person for that support and and that connection and that chemistry just everything of course why is it so hard to believe that there can be another person who's into us right that loves us 100 percent? why is that so hard for us to see in this world or to believe so there's this breakthrough of like of course we deserve that wow look at that instead of feeling stuck in here ten of wands heavy burdens you're going to be going towards equality where you're not having or you're not being contained and underappreciated so much and sort of objectified to just an energy source, right? But instead, you want something that's more about equality. Nine of Pentacles. So that's going to stem from your own independence, right? And then this energy will be there for you. So you might not see this happen right away. Ooh, Four of Wands, Foundations and Commitment, though. With Nine of Swords, Self-Sabotage and Nightmares. So... I'm getting during your own time of independence, there's some self-sabotaging energy in the sense where you'll doubt that this is actually happening or that there's another person out there, but that it's just, it's going to all be you by the end of all of this. There's a part of you 
but you're still open to it. You're like, I have, I am everything I need to be. Now, where are they? Are they going to show up? Is this person of mine going to show up? You know, so there's this fear. What if no one comes? What if they don't show up? What if I do all this work? I become everything I wanted to be and like feel however I wanted to feel or whatever. But that I still don't meet someone of equality, someone who can treat me right and treat everyone with equality and, and respect and all that stuff. But this four of wands is shouting out saying like, no, it's there. All right. It's, it's solid and, and grounded in spirit, basically in wands fire. And so it seems like it's an idea that's just up in the clouds, but because it's the four of wands idea that's up in the clouds, it's actually quite solidly going to land here into physical form. <laughs> So one message to confirm all that. Three, the Empress, Divine Feminine. Because you're the Divine Feminine. You're a goddess. You can be, you can identify with Divine Masculine. It doesn't matter. We all have feminine and masculine energy within us. Those are just labels to describe ways energy communicates with one another. So there's this very sensual, intimate, um, passionate, attractive, sexy side to you and honor it basically so we are just going to be doing three readings i can tell um so do they have feeling do they have romantic feelings i'm getting like why wouldn't they <laughs> of course they should you know not like sh should as in like that they, you know that like the that they have to but just like in the sense of like you deserve someone who can admire you and appreciate you and value you the way you deserve to be valued with equality with you know mutual respect and love so it's like the fact that that's just the case and that you're the queen of wands and you're magnetic like attracts like you know so when you manifest that energy inside of you and no longer subscribe to heavy burdens and so instead, when you no longer spend your time around people who undervalue you, underappreciate you, or stuff you inside of this bulb for energy, and it's like they just use you when they need you, and then they like turn off the light and they leave you in that bulb, they're like, we'll be back when we need this, you know, those kinds of energies, anything that underappreciates you, or any responsibilities you take on that makes you feel like you're just... A battery being charged up for these other people for their other for other situations you know that is like a no more thing that you're breaking free from basically and i am getting keep doing this it for some of you it might be a while but eventually you will see the the equality you will see the right energy being given to you finally how, like how you deserve so I am getting, it's a little mixed in some ways for reading number two. Some of you in here reading, listening, the important message coming through is this plenty of fish in the sea card actually of like, this does not tie to just one specific person. For those of you that it doesn't with others of you, this is really about someone on your mind and you know who this is about. And then I think for almost all of you, it's like whether or not there's a person, the fact that you're through any sort of separation you're trying to keep an open mind because you feel almost crazy with that Nine of Swords, wherever it went. Self-sabotaging, you know, you're like, what if just by waiting on this connection and thinking it's equal, it's actually this. There's a part of you that wonders that. There's a part of you that's like, maybe I'm not, maybe this isn't what it's supposed to be or something. Or like, I can't just be stuck waiting on this person who may or may not ever reach out and, and make this big gesture, right? Um, so with the Plenty of Fish in the Sea card, Realization, all of this stuff, there's a message coming through that it's still supposed to be easier than this. There's different things. When you meet connections that don't treat you right, it's like, it's supposed to be easier than that. And you might, your mind go, might go back to this person where you're like, how this person makes you feel, it's easy, right? But then on the vice versa, 
being in so much separation from this person and like knowing that the feelings are so much like that and yet they can't there there's so much fear or pressure there's also that it shouldn't be this hard either things should be easy like it is with the people who have undervalued me and yet spend all this time with me all the time and, and take up all my time you know there's a balancing effect between those two concepts that you need to explore with so if you've explored a lot on one side you need to explore on the other so you've explored a lot on like how the people in your life as an example or certain people you've come across in your life how they treat you not as right as this person who's not even there you need to then explore the other side of well this person's not even here it should be easier than that there's all these there's plenty of these people who are here who sh kind of shouldn't be basically or aren't you know really treating me or respecting or appreciating the fact that i'm giving them my time or that i am choosing to be in their lives you know so why am i spending all that time and this energy including now people who you want to be around who are not there at that same time those both end up in the same category almost right this energy of not being where you want to be who you want to be with and so forth so diving into that other realm of things this is talking about meeting more connections this does not have to be about romance this does not have to even be about the situation i think you can still if you're content and you truly feel it's meant to be with this person and you don't feel like you want to look for it like other people or date anyone else really that's completely okay this is just kind of talking about in terms of the connections where to go where that light bulb thingy in terms of the connections that make you feel underappreciated this is just talking about like finding a way to drop those people pretty much or to not end up in those situations with those people if that's possible and then to meet people that they they don't do this to you this whole putting you in this light bulb thing so i hope that makes sense i'm not i'm basically not saying like that that's what it is with this person but that since those messages came out so clearly in this specific reading that there must be some of you listening where maybe what you feel is that it's not this person or like that it, this isn't what you really want or something it'll just depend on how you feel about this connection and what you have seen from it and what you have experienced and felt internally from it, regardless of what happened in the physical world, if that makes sense. So you're going to have to really use your own discernment and trust your own um, intuition about this because there's just a lot of you listening in on reading number two. But I still think this spoke to many of you. Um, so yeah, maybe if you guys catch me on a live and you get a private reading for or, li or a live reading or you book a private reading or something like that. Um, but also sometimes the energy just comes out as like a wide range, as like a keeping it open ended because it's not to keep the truth from you, but it's just like, would you even accept it? You know, if someone was like, oh, they don't feel the same way as someone else, would you even accept that answer? You know, so it's like, Instead of trying to discredit your own thought that like maybe this is what's going on or this will be what happens. Instead of discrediting that, it's like that's very much a possibility. I acknowledge it. There's also all these other possibilities that could be possible too because anything is possible. So that's kind of where I'm coming from. It's just to kind of find a way to create a win-win no matter what for you, the listeners, and for me myself. I try to live life in a way where I kind of try to reason a way that is win-win no matter what uh except for when there really is no win <laughs> when i think of all the losses or pain or trauma or just mistreatments right that ten of wands energy these car this energy when i think about that i'm not thinking of like all the win-wins i'm really honoring that's all just like loss and something about that feels so validating to me when i do that so yeah i hope you guys like this reading that was reading number two and I will definitely talk to you all later. Take care. All right, so this is reading number three. The Cherovite or the uh, Shiva Lingon or whatever, or the Fluorite. These all are reading three. I decided I really don't have time to do five readings, unfortunately. Um, but... First, we're going to start off with just the energy, a good omen to start off this reading to see if this is your situation. 
So this could just be the energy of your situation with like regarding or disregarding this connection. So this just has everything to do with you, the listener. How have you been? What's life like? You know, general energy to pick up on if this is you that I'm picking up on. <laughs> it really was me, not you. That's so funny that I was saying all of that and it's talking about like the making sure this is you or me or whatever. So it really was me, not you. So... I'm just getting the way I said all that and now this happened. This is telling me that this is definitely the reading that's meant to come out for those of you that this resonates with. And I'm just going to leave it at that. Those of you who read this and it resonates, this is your reading. And you'll know, like, you'll just, you'll know. You'll, you'll be like, oh yeah, I know what this is about. Because that those sentences will call out to you. So in this reading, I didn't do this with the other ones. I'm going to draw three cards from this deck and three cards from my other Twin Flame Volume deck, the Volume 1. I haven't shuffled this one yet. Were some of these upside down? Some of these are upside down. Uh-oh. La 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 Do 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 do. Okay, there we go. So, it really was me, not you. So this situation, I'm just getting, yes, this per, do, do they have romantic feelings for you? Yes, they do. And we're just going with that. For those of you that this is the reading, it's like hearing that not only feels good, but you already just know that to be true, pretty much. Do they have feelings? Do they have romantic feelings for you? You inspire me. I'm getting they, they do. Here's you saying it was me, not you. Or here's them saying it was, it was about them and not about you. And then here's you or the, or the other person saying that, like, you inspire me, you know? So to make that sound way less confusing, person A is like, hey, it was me, not you. I was just having all these personal issues. And person B is like, hey, you really inspire me. <laughs> like, I don't know. I feel a mutual energy here where you will both be very understanding. I'm getting you're both very understanding already even if you are not on speaking terms for whatever reason, or if you haven't spoken to each other in like the 3D. So next we get, I'm trying to do the honorable thing. And then down here we've got, the grass wasn't greener on the other side. Wow. Wow. So the situation I am getting is you guys went through a separation and maybe one of you or both of you explored other partners or connections. It doesn't have to be romantic. It could just be you met more people in life or you were still around the same people in life and you just like noticed how these people continued to disappoint you and it led you back to just thinking how this somehow this person who hasn't even been in your life in physical form for however long still leaves you a better energy impact than these people who are in your life or were in your life or these other partners or connections, you know, type of thing. That's what I'm getting from this. That's one of you or both of you. And then one of you or both of you who chose like to find themselves. They're like, I just need to be by myself or something. Or like, you know, it was really me, not you. Like I need to find myself is what that's saying to me. They were, just, they're currently trying to do the right thing with that. They're trying to stick with it for some reason. So let's kind of see where these energies transform into. We get, I just got sidetracked, which is them also admitting like, okay, as much as they, that's true, they, they're they doing the honorable thing, trying to find themselves. They also got sidetracked. And <laughs> at this point, they're procrastinating a little bit is kind of what I'm getting. So let's get your message to mirror with it. I can't seem to find the right words to say with you. No wonder that energy shifts into that. Uh, no wonder from here, from knowing that it's still this person, you don't know what to say because you're mirroring each other. They still went in the direction of continuing to procrastinate or prolong this separation. I do really feel like kind of just going one final round, but I'm going to mix up the energy and switch up the cards basically using 
the different decks. I don't know. So like with this one, we're now using the volume one, but it's still this first person. So we're getting, I don't know if I can meet your expectations with your beauty still moves me. And then we are getting, I can still feel you. So the word still is showing up. Stillness. So when time is on pause, when they're by themselves, when everything is still, <laughs> they think about you and your beauty and they feel your energy. And I don't know. I, I'm getting that like, they don't know if they're going to be able to do it. If they'll be able to actually commit if they like show up or if they respond or something like that, or if they reach out. So it's something that might keep them from doing that or from reacting or responding to you. <laughs> I'm resonating with that. Is that like they feel these expectations for some reason and we'll maybe clarify that. So let's get this other side of things or that to you where you feel these expectations or something, but you still, when you're, by yourself you think and feel about this person and then how their beauty still moves you it just depends so going over to the other side of things we get i still remember the good times we shared also if they if the message is intertwined we're like no that one's this person and that one's that per and you just know go ahead and decipher <laughs> we get i still remember the good times we shared with i am working towards a better future wow and you affected my life significantly so I'm just getting like, yeah, during, during all of this, I, I feel something is coming together quite possibly, you know? So let's get some, um, arrows of love messages from this, this deck. This is the arrows of love Oracle from mystic moon. So just, wow. What is happening with this situation? So now we're, can I, can I, we're uniting these energies, connecting these energies with violets are blue i'm getting roses are red violets are blue right and this says loyalty oh my gosh that's so beautiful i'm getting at this moment in time after everything i see you are like still loyal to everything you stood by when it comes to this connection no matter what has happened in the physical world or the new people you've met or the other people you might have come across on your journey you are still loyal to this connection and that loyalty between the two of you somehow has never actually been broken is what I'm getting. Ooh, this is hitched. And I don't know what that really means because this looks like some sort of coming together. Wow. Loyalty and like, I don't know. Love at first sight. Kind of like we are each other's match the, these energies they match really well they're very like connected and like counterparts yin and yang like made for each other so to speak so some of you really resonate with feeling the whole made for each other type of thing so you might feel that way about this person i'm getting that's what this situation is but you can agree to disagree like you can, you know, if, if you don't want to take that message, that's okay. But I'm just kind of getting in a very romantic way. You guys are made for each other. Love and lace. Innocence. Just innocently. Just genuinely. You just are. It's not about what's going on underneath here. It's about the mind and the heart and the soul, you know. And then the bodies that go with it, you know. So, of course, you guys are very attracted to each other. The beauty thing, right? Your beauty still moves me. But um, it's also just so pure and innocent. So I I think there's something happening here with this connection. Let's go ahead and finish this up with the signs from um, Spirit Love Oracle. So what are some signs or where, where is the progress of this? Because I can tell you guys are in some sort of separation, but something's happening here. Web, cosmic plan. That's such a good card. That makes me feel so euphoric. Like there's a cosmic plan behind all of this. So the universe is guiding you in such a specific way. So I guess go with it. <laughs> Apron, service. Be of service at this time. Do your thing. Feel yourself, you know. 
do right by the ones who treat you right. Black. Lack, rebellion, and pessimism. Wow, okay, I see. So, sir, so yeah, it's like, it's okay if you're unsure of what's actually going to happen. If you're feeling pessimistic about this situation, for some reason, that's a good thing. For some reason, that's a part of the plan. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Key, unlock. With violet. Roses are red, violets are blue. Didn't that come up? Yes, it did. Violets are blue. And then in this deck, we get the violet card. I'm telling you. So intuitive, spiritual, self-aware. I see. Because then when you completely are kind of like have dropped it or let, let this go, kind of let go of like, you know, relying on if this person's going to show up ever or something like It's like you get in this mode of like, okay, you know what? Let's just assume like coming or not coming. Like it, I don't care. It doesn't matter anymore. Like I'm, I've got this, you know, there's this key where you get your own self-awareness, your independence and your like strength of like, nothing's going to stop you. Even if you don't come together with this person, or even if love as an example, didn't work out or something, you're like, you're never going to give up. Basically we get nail says crucify and swan loyalty. That's the second time the word loyalty. And it's from that violet card where loyalty says, you know, and then we got this violet card here. So it's like violet and then loyalty. Very interesting. So that's saying this is connected. Doing that be will sh it that show because it's like that's the final thing. It's like no matter what this person does, truly, even if what they do is disappoint or leave or something like that, or just go off and do their thing, you're like, that's fine. Like, that's what loyalty is. It's just like, you are just loyal to this person, whether or not they can follow through with anything. You're like, whatever, I don't care anymore. Like, and it's not just about putting up with the situation miserably. No, it's about, you're like over the situation. You're like, okay, that's how it's gonna be. I'm gonna level up. I'm gonna go up to the next thing. So you're going to be fine no matter what is kind of what I'm getting here. So there's some sort of cosmic plan. And so, yeah, everything will work out. It's just a little unclear as for where things are going to go with this specific connection. But there is a lot of loyalty and love and innocence and just pure energy that came up with this reading. For those of you that this is your reading and certain keys, there there's a key to unlock certain things. Or something like that that will bring some sort of reunion is kind of what I get to be honest so let's just kind of get like a final message of what's to come seven of wands defense mechanism so I do see you fighting for this connection queen of cups because you feel very strongly about it <laughs> and page of pentacles concrete ideas and you're not crazy and I think that's really important for you to hear. So that was reading number three. Thank you all so much for listening. And I will talk to you all later. Take care.